Hi, I'm BD Knight. I'm back to read Chapter 2 of Snow White, a True Story. Um, some of you have asked for some shorter videos, so I'll try to do one chapter at a time. But I'll try to get them out a little bit quicker so you don't have to wait 54 weeks to get the uh, final result. So uh, anyway, let's go on with uh, Chapter 2. Snow White was relaxing on a park bench with her best friend, Gretel. Can't believe I'll be 18 years old in two weeks, said Snow. I haven't got a party invitation yet, said Gretel. Snow shook her head. Her stepmother said no, no party. Father's too sick to argue with her, so what she says goes. It's terrible, girl. You need to celebrate. What do you want to do on that day? Snow laughed. It didn't bother her there would be no party. She never wanted much attention. Thanks, Gretel, but I think I'll spend the day with my father. Do the doctors know what's wrong with him? No, they said his symptoms are the same as anyone who was poisoned, but they can't find anything. Gretel bolted from the bench. Poison? Snow, I wouldn't put it past the queen to... No, 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 don't say that. I know she's not very nice, but I don't think she would poison my father. Gretel shook her head. She's not very nice. She's a witch. You always see the good in people. Wake up. All people aren't good. She's evil, Snow. She's dangerous. Gretel wasn't the first person to tell her that. Not too many people liked her stepmother. She definitely was moody and unfriendly, but she didn't think she was capable of killing. Let's talk about something else. I haven't seen Hansel in a while. She was trying to make her voice sound nonchalant, but wasn't sure she was pulling it off. She had sort of a crush on Hansel, but wasn't sure he felt anything toward her. Gretel sat back down. He had some gingerbread and didn't agree with him, so he was under the weather for the last few days. But he's getting back to his old self. Gretel flashed a sly grin and nudged her. I know you like him. I never said I am. I'm your best friend. I know you like him, so no use trying to hide it. You're almost 18. No reason to pretend anymore. Gretel could read her like a book, but she was right. She was becoming a woman. She folded her hands and looked down. Does he like me? Gretel squeezed her arm. Oh, yeah, he definitely likes you. Really? Then why doesn't he act like it? Your father's a king, Snow. He's afraid to say anything until you're old enough. He likes his head right where it is. Gretel laughed and Snow playfully punched her shoulder. My father doesn't cut people's heads off. Your stepmother might. Snow was still laughing, but Gretel had stopped laughing. She looked serious when she said it. You don't really, Gretel, she wouldn't. Why would you think? Gretel turned away from him with a void look in her eyes. I've heard things, so bad things. Someone said she cut off a man's head? Gretel nodded. In Sleepy Hollow. Okay, that's the uh, final. Of the, that ends Chapter 2. And um, by the way, if there's any movie producers who are thinking about doing this here book for a movie... Um, I vote Megan Fox to play Snow White. And uh, Demi Moore to play the Queen. So anyway, I hope you liked the story so far. And uh, next next time I'll see you for Chapter 3.